Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, we're going to talk to you about the forehand. Now, when we look at some professionals, we see a much more relaxed and loose and elastic motion than we do with other players. Players such as Federer, Kyrgios, Alcaraz, it just seems so smooth, so easy for them. What I want to do today is show you how they find that smooth, loose and easy feeling and how you can apply it to your game today. Now, nearly everybody watching this will be familiar with the basic mechanics of the forehand. We have the unit turn and then the rotation of the body, the racket lag and drop, and then the follow through. But within that motion, there are many, many subtle differences. And these players that I've mentioned and a few others, they look incredibly relaxed when they're making the stroke. The power just seems to come from nowhere. It flows like an elastic energy. Now, the way that most players and coaches try to reproduce this loose, elastic, fluid feeling is with a loose wrist and a loose grip. And they certainly play a part. But there's something different because nearly all their pro players have an incredibly loose wrist, but they don't all look fluid and have elastic energy like Kyrgios, Federer, Alcaraz and some of the others. But for those players where the power seems to be so effortless, where it comes from nowhere, I think that the loose wrist and the loose grip is a byproduct. And it's a byproduct of the loose elbow. You see, there's a distinct difference between many recreational players and pro players with the position of the elbow. If I'm moving to this direction, so I'm hitting in that direction there, what you see from a lot of recreational players is the same take back and then the drop here and then the stroke. But the elbow has remained inside pointing into the body. But when you look at the pro players who are so fluid, then always, as they track the racket, then the elbow turns to the outside. See, the recreational players are keeping the elbow on the inside, and Federer and Alcaraz and the others, they're actually dropping, and the elbow comes on the outside. Inside, outside. Now, they're not thinking about this movement. This movement is happening. But when the elbow relaxes, it turns naturally to the outside and it's almost impossible to have a relaxed elbow without having a relaxed wrist and a relaxed grip. And so suddenly the whole arm and the whole stroke becomes fluid and elastic. It is virtually impossible for that not to happen. But there is a problem. How do we find a loose elbow? You see, feeling the wrist and the hand is much easier than feeling the movement of the elbow and timing it just right. So first, let's find loose. And I want to show you a little trick that uh, doctors and physiotherapists use. When they're testing to see if a player has, um, has a muscular problem, right, then what they'll do is they'll ask the player to relax the arm totally and just let them support the arm on their, uh, on their hand. And then they move the hand and it's not relaxed because you're supporting it. It stayed where it was. So now I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to truly, it's quite difficult to do, I'm going to truly relax my arm and when I take the racket away and I can feel the weight of the arm on the racket and when I take the racket away, the arm falls. Again, it's not loose. And now I can feel the weight of the, of the arm on the racket and now, and it just falls. And now, Without the racket, because this is a difficult feeling to find, you need a little bit of work to get it. Without the racket, imagine the take back, and now just allow your arm to drop by your side. And again, so now we're gonna feel the looseness and drop. And now I want you to feel the looseness, still without the racket, feel the looseness and capture the looseness and turn it into a stroking motion. So I feel loose and I swing. And I feel loose and I swing. And now with the racket, find the looseness, feel the looseness and capture it into a stroke. And now, and again, I'm feeling the looseness. I'm looking for it and I swing. Feeling the looseness and I swing. So then find the looseness and allow it to flow through your stroke. And when you have an arm that's that relaxed from the elbow, it is incredible how loose and fluid the wrist and the hand become. And you now have a true kinetic chain 
with all the energy flowing through the arm and through the racket and out into the ball. I hope this makes sense. I've worked with a number of players on this and it really is a massive game changer in terms of power and spin if they can get that relaxed feeling of the elbow. If you want to practice this, have a look at our partners, PlayYourCourt.com. They send players of your level into your local area or they send professional tennis coaches to your area and to your local courts. It's a great service, it's inexpensive and the information on their membership is in the comments section below. And maybe I can help you more with your game. We're doing one-to-one -one online coaching for players of all levels, all ages, and all over the world. It's a truly unique service. If you want to know more about that, have a look at the website below or contact us. So remember, feel the looseness of the elbow. And then once you've felt it and know what it feels like, find it and apply it into the stroke. And you'll find that your forehand is truly energized. It'll be more dynamic, easier, more powerful, and have more spin. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.